Happy birthday to me. Good morning, everybody, and today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. <laughs> today I turned 23, y'all. Yep. And it's my Jordan year. It's funny how I discovered it's my Jordan year. It was through Marlisa. I was like, wow, it really is. Anywho, today is my birthday, and I decided to do a little birthday vlog of my day. I'm headed to Bible Study Fellowship, which is every Wednesday at 9.30. And then after that, I have a presentation of class from 5.30 to 8.30. And then after that, Caitlin and Marlisa are coming over. So that's basically a rundown of the day. But I'm just happy because today is my birthday. Who isn't happy on their birthday? So let's go and get this day started. It is sunny. It's not too cold. Us Michigan people are used to this type. It might be cold for people like down south and whatnot. But it's not too bad today. The sun is shining so bright, y'all. It's the first day of spring, too. So happy spring to you. And it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day today. Thank you, Lord, for what are you doing? Car, come on, man. Come on. Stop right in front of me. Happy spring to you. Oh, it's gonna be a great day. I know it already. Yes, it's a beautiful day today, y'all. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Very nice. BSF Bible Study Fellowship, it's all over the country and world. You can find a BSF near you. If you'd like to join, just go to the website, which is mybsf.org, and it will pull up a BSF that is near you. What's nice is every week you get a lesson, and like a, they hand you out a lesson, and you, you go through it, you answer the questions, and then you come back the next week ready to talk about it. So we went through 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, now we're in 1 Kings. So, oh my gosh, the life of David is amazing. Can I get a little biblical real quick? The life of David is amazing. And just how God's grace and mercy was all over David's life. So, we studied the life of David. Now we're getting into Solomon. So I'll talk to y'all after. All right, so I'm leaving BSF now. Um, it was really good. We talked, again, we talked about First Kings and Solomon, but today we really talked about wisdom and how Solomon was just blessed with all this wisdom that only God could give. And there is a specific, there is a specific prayer that Solomon prayed. It's in First Kings chapter three. And God appears to Solomon in a dream. And God basically said like, ask whatever it is that you want. And Solomon could have asked for anything. He could have asked for riches, fame, wealth, whatever. But he asked for understanding and discernment. And he was like, Lord, I know you placed me here among your chosen people to lead them and I want to like I want to lead them well and I want to do it right so he asked God for understanding and wisdom and God was basically like because you asked for because you didn't ask for riches and wealth and fames and instead you asked for wisdom and understanding I will grant your request I will give you understanding and wisdom you'll be wiser than anyone and not only that but I'm gonna also give you what you did not ask for I'll also give you riches and wealth and fame so we just talked about you know what that says of about God his how God responded to Solomon's prayer what that says about God and basically it's that God wants to bless us he wants to give us all of these great things but as long as it's for his glory and it's for his purpose because God said if you obey me and keep my commandments you know Solomon wasn't being selfish like he was actually taking his role seriously he said Lord you put me here in this position as king you blessed my father and now here I am amongst all of these people I need you to help me lead so please Lord if you allow me to ask for anything I just ask for wisdom and understanding and discernment moving forward so that was like that spoke to me because I'm like how often in our prayer life do 
are we quick to ask for lord bless my finances lord help me give me more of this give me more of that instead of just asking god for like the in eternal things that can truly change our perspective towards for example your finances or your situation um, asking God for wisdom, for peace of mind, for a good judgment, for discernment. God wants to have a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship and he will bless us tremendously if we fear him, if we obey him, if we submit ourselves to him in every aspect of our life. Not a partial submission, but a whole submission. God will literally pull a 320 on you, which is Ephesians 320. God will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you may ask or think. That's what he did for Solomon. Solomon only asked for wisdom. God gave him wisdom plus riches, wealth, and fame. So God pulled a 320 on him. Between my aunt Jackie and I, so my birthday today, March 20th, 320, and I just look back on my life and God has really pulled a lot of 320s on my life and it just humbles me and it keeps me mindful of God's presence and how careful I have to be in my decisions and how I'm living. If you focus on God, if you keep his commandments, if you obey him, if you put him first, if you allow him to sit in the front of your heart, not the back, if you choose God over your flesh, Listen, your life will be, God will pull some 320s in your life. You will be taken care of from top to bottom. You will have nothing to worry about. Everything will be provided for you. And doors will open that you didn't even think can open. You got to learn how to change your perspective to see life the way that God wants you to see it. And know who you are and whose you are. You are God's child. Why would he not want to bless you? Why would he not want to help you? If God is love. If God truly is love, he is the equation of love, he is the definition of love, why would he not want to bestow all of this love upon his child? So, yes, I mean, that's just, it's just amazing. Um, I really, just get into God's word, open it up, study it, picture what you're reading, ask God to speak to you through it, and do it every single day. It's funny because on the days where I don't read the Bible, my day feels off, it truly, like, spiritually, I just feel off. I'm like, something isn't right. It's because I did not spend enough time with God that morning or that evening, whatever the case may be. So, Listen, y'all, God is amazing. He's there. He wants to have a personal relationship with you. He wants to bless you, and he wants to do more and more and more in your life, more than you can ever imagine. Keep your focus on him. You got to stay focused on him. Don't let your eye drift. Don't let your right eye stay on him. Your left eye go sideways. Don't. You got to keep both eyes on him. Ten toes down. So I'm at my mom's school. Hey, y'all. She's a principal. Yeah, yes, I am. Mom, Busy. What do you have to say about my birthday? When you want me to get emotional? Okay, I am so proud of this girl here. She's 23. Look, look how tall she is. I know. So, I'm so really like, tall. look, look how I look all little. You do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. 23 years ago, I gave birth to this beautiful queen right here. And um, I couldn't be more happier. She's paved the way for her younger siblings. And um, she's in, she graduated from U of M. I'm so proud of that. She's in grad school at Eastern. I'm proud of that. She's wanting to get a PhD. I'm proud of that. So she's doing things I've never done, you know. So I'm so proud of her. She's a godly young lady, a godly woman, set the example for so many people. And even though she may not know it, I love her so much. You know oh. that? I do. People say we look alike. I know. People say, do y'all think we look alike? My mom's lighter than me. Yeah, I'm a light skinned girl. She is a light, but she's black. She black. I'm black girl. though. Shame makes on nothing. But <laughs> blackness. Light. Yeah. So Look God made me. I think the older I get, the more I can see myself in you. Yeah. In many ways. Your eyebrows look better than mine. I wish I had her eye color. So if y'all don't know my these are contacts. People say your eyes are so pretty. These are contacts. You can't even see my eye color. Uh, yeah, you can't. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> They oh can't even gosh. diagnose her color. It's so different. Yeah, they don't know my eye color. So. My yes. Contacts, that's my secret. You gonna show my messy desk? It's messy. Look at her office, y'all. Isn't it cute? I need to make all her actually. See her door? GTA loves Mrs. Talbert. Oh, yeah. I'm looking to show my red apple. That's my new teacher, Miss Brigo. She bought that for me. My mom was a teacher before a principal. And this is, she has a bathroom in here. Outfit of the day, since people on YouTube do that. This shirt says blessed. I got this from a store in Brywood Mall that no longer exists, sadly. But it was my friend's store. Then I got these pants from the Salvation Army. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
I got these pants like, from the Salvation <laughs> Army. And they were like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, proud. I did. I am proud. Save money. S A S A uh, South. <laughs> I got it from South. <laughs> so, oh my God. So, where'd you get your clothes from, South? I'm with like my biggest mentor, Miss Tawana. Hello, how are you? So she is amazing, so she does a lot of things. Not only is she a mother and a wife, but she plans weddings, and not just weddings, right? You do other Yes, events. I do weddings and events, birthdays, anniversaries, celebrations, graduations. Where can they find you if they want to get info about that? Oh, you can go to rosales.com or you can contact me at 734-904-0071. And I'll put that in the bio or the description box below but also y'all here's the big thing she's <laughs> currently on tour and she allowed me to speak at her last tour and that was such an honor and a blessing I truly enjoyed it but oh, when's the you. next tour date oh May 5th I will be at Accelerate Church in Ann Arbor Michigan mm -hmm. and we're gonna have a great time so please come out and meet us there and it's all about wisdom and finding wisdom and how we need to have wisdom we were talking about that in Bible study today yes. Miss Tawana. Oh, wow. and you would have been, we were talking about Solomon and wisdom and everything but she wrote a book about wisdom and I just had it. I knocked it down, I grabbed it for you. She wrote two books, so she's also an author. She's just goes. So this is her book, Finding Wisdom. Yes. You can get it in Barnes and Nobles or Amazon, uh, right? Yes. And is that it? Just Barnes and Noble? Barnes and Noble, Amazon.com, FastPencil.com, Nookbook, um, wow. anywhere, anywhere it's offered. <laughs> and it's a great book. I'm getting a copy and I'm reading it because wisdom is, I'm trying to grow in wisdom in this season. And then she also wrote another book. Yes. A spoken Word. And what's that about? This book is Declaration. What you speak over your life. Listen. Be very careful. Yes. Your words have power. It has power. And it's all about what you speak over your life. Yeah, so this is a great book if you're having trouble um, finding out what to speak over your life. If you're speaking the wrong things, this will tell you and teach you to speak nothing but the Word of God over your life circumstances, and you will see changes occur in your life instantly. Can they find that at Barnes & Noble too, on Amazon? Yep. There you go, y'all. But I just want to get her on camera because I love her so much. Oh, we'll I love just, you too. She'll call me, and it's always the right time when I need to talk to somebody. We had like over an hour talk yesterday while I was in the nail salon. So <laughs> and she's hilarious. Well, thank you, Miss Tawana. You're welcome. You're Go so get welcome. her books, y'all. Thank you so much. It's my birthday. 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 Okay, everybody, look at what two of my lovely RAs did for me outside of my office store. And then they got me a gift. They got me a cup from Starbucks to twin with them. And another cup that they have that I wanted. Y'all, and I cried, because I was overjoyed. And then they made me this lovely card, and they had everybody sign it. I'm so happy. Can I get y'all? I gotta get y'all. Yeah. Okay, these are two of my lovely RAs, Emily and Jessica, and I love them also, oh also, also oh much. And they did this, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Okay, so I recently got out of class and my presentation went amazing. Pretty sure we got an A because I believe the professor loved it. And then I come back to that surprise that two of my RAs did and I'm just overwhelmed with love. Now I'm headed to meet with Caitlin and Marlisa. Um, hold on, my mom's calling. Hello? Hey, boo. Hey. What you doing? Nice, cool. And my presentation went well. My professor loved it. Mm, not surprised. That's good. The king, king, he like people just gotta really know God. That's that's the bottom line. It really is. It really is the bottom line. You know, God tells us not. He talks about when God says not to fear. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you through the difficulties. I won't give you more than you can handle. He, and he said we really gotta believe that. Yeah. You, you really have to know that. I'm with my girls. Oh my God. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. We haven't been together. It's her so Jordan long. year. 
That's right. Jordan here. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him so much. I love you. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go and talk. We are the last people to leave. And the other people got here. <laughs> got here after us. My day was made with my sisters. Yay! Let me give y'all a hug. Hi, I love you too. All right, y'all. So thank you for following me on my day today. I didn't film much of Caitlyn, Marlisa, and I at dinner because we ended up just having some good girl time and girl talk, and I just wanted it to be intimate and personal. But I really enjoyed my time with him, and I had a great day. So thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you for those who wish me a happy birthday too. I love, love, love you, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Congrats to my best friend. Look at her. Okay. You. The minute something comes to your mind that you know is not of God, or the minute something comes to your mind that it just don't feel right in your spirit, you just give it to God. My eyes are learning. They used to be real hard for me. So I'm like, well, how do I do that? Like, it just. It's your birthday. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration.